Welcome to Deerwood. Welcome. Hey. So we got Eric Flair, we got Jay Rich, and Zach. Uh, I don't have any cool Wait, names. I don't have any nah, whatever. Uh, so we're staying at the 10 cup spot. We're all gonna take a swing at it and see what happens. Here we go. Let's do it. God bless America. Land that Ooh, I love. Contact. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. Here's the flag. I ended up right here, a little bit short. Eric's over here. Big dog Justin ran it way to the back of the green. Fucking greens suck. I know. If this oh, was shit. woodland, that shit would have went in. Yeah. I mean, if it's rolling better than an eight on the stem, we'd be fine. Money all day. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Ooh, somebody's close. How you say that, Zach? It's your boy. It, it's your boy. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. That's how you swing the club. That's how you swing the club. That's how you swing the club. <laughs> Light Boom. the candle. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm feeling it. Look at this. Independence Day. Tap in birdies. Let's go. I'm back. What's up guys? Zach and Jay Rich joining you for a, a different type of video today. Yes, trying something different. I like changes. Not really, I don't like changes, but Whoa, hey, where? Eric, what happened? Um, the hole is the other there way. <laughs> uh, so we went and played out at Deerwood Country Club, which is in Kingwood, Texas. This is where Tin Cup had, a, I guess, a famous scene filmed. Yeah. Um, and there's a little plaque on the 13th hole that we decided to hit from and you probably saw that at the beginning of the video yeah. uh, We decided to pick a couple holes that we really liked uh, to kind of highlight. So this hole here is number six uh, What's kind of cool about this one Justin? Well, I'm gonna say it. I I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This hole kicked our ass <laughs> uh, We both uh, we all three Double bogey. I mean, this hole just sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's cool about the drive, and you didn't, can't really see, but there's a bunker that runs in the middle of the fairway, about 260 from the tips. So, you know, it kind of puts you in a tough position off the tee, deciding where you want to hit. As you can see, I clipped a tree and got probably one of the worst lies in a bunker I've had in a long time. So I had to kind of get it out and hit two bunker shots there. But um, that, that, that drive shot really puts some pressure on you to hit the fairway. Um, Eric and, and Justin just missed the fairway, but uh, I was able to hit fairway and you see, it still didn't matter. That yeah. Was a double. That bunker, it's right in the landing area, and uh, we were playing it from the tip, so uh, I can't remember the exact carry, but it was 260-ish, which we can do it, but I mean, hey, not if you pull it left like I did or skull it right like Eric did. It so. certainly <laughs> changes the hole, but I, I really like the hole. I like the architecture of it because it forces you to, to take that into account when you're standing on the tee box. Hey, Zach, what is this for? Sick putt. <laughs> I like that. Here we go. This is the hole. Number 13. You see it in 10 cup. We are about to tear it apart. You got to stay to the right. Unfortunately, I didn't take my own advice and I go left. Wow. What would you think of this hole? Now, I liked the hole. I think, again, looking at the, the setup of the hole, you you come up, it is a dog leg left, and you have to hit it far enough to take the trees on the left out of the way. So when you're, you're going at the green, you have a shot. Um, I went a little too far right, so I ended up in the, the pine straw over here to the right. But again, you have to set yourself up for that second shot by hitting on the right side of the fairway. Um, and yeah. Uh, for me, I took it down the left side. Uh, I'm not sure if I hammered the drive or if I got a lucky bounce, but I actually got past that tree, so I had a, a great opening. Uh, Eric here with pretty much the textbook shot like in the movie where you got to go through the gap. Uh, I think he was just a little bit closer. Yeah, and 
you can see the trees are, are kind of framing things, but yeah, you had to have smoked that. Um, well, <laughs> smoked that Yeah, I did smoke that wedge. <laughs> Wave by. <laughs> uh, it's gone. But that water can be really intimidating depending, depending on how far back you are. Um, but I think it's just a great <laughs> golf hole. Um, the green, man, it slopes pretty severe back to front. And I got the full effect. I mean, look where I'm at. I, I'm so far away, and I, I'd give this probably 70, 80 oh. feet. Oh, man, and that thing is just going. Yeah, and when I hit that, I was watching it. I thought that was going in, and you, like you were just alluding to, it's a long putt for you. It catches this ridge, and it just keeps yeah. going and going. Yeah, um, basically hit it 10 feet, let it go the rest of the way, and these greens were blazing fast. They had some get up to them. Yeah, we were talking mess a little bit earlier in the video, but these screens were fantastic. Definitely an awesome course if you can play it. I highly recommend getting out there and doing it. Right. So just a little bit about, oh man, almost. So just a little bit about how you can play it. Um, it's a Club Corp. Uh, if you don't know what Club Corp is, it's a, kind of a company that owns a bunch of courses. So if you know someone that's a member, then you can get on. Now this drive, this is number 18. You can see where my ball goes. There's a little shoot between those trees, um, which I guess is the preferred line, honestly, playing from the tips, because um, you took a little bit left of it and you ended up in the trees long, and now you're in tree jail. You know? I must have forgot to pull out the grit because I didn't think I was gonna run out of fairway. Yeah. <laughs> so. so it's kind of a, a tricky tee shot there, deciding where you want to go. Um, I ended up perfect position because I, I went right through the chute there. You can see it was the sun was setting. I couldn't see where this was going, but um, really cool hole. Kind of forces you um, again to, to hit a good tee shot to give yourself in position for an approach shot. Definitely a weird tee shot for sure. I mean, this thing turns 90 degrees to the right, so. Uh, you pretty much have to be within about a 30 yard window and that'll have you an excellent look at the green. Yeah, so overall we uh, both really enjoyed the course. Um, definitely would play it again now that we've kind of been exposed to it. We kind of know what to expect. Um, for sure gotta play it again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let us know. Leave us a comment, like the video, um, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow this channel. Let's do it.